Yeah, we are discussing about uh, web services, right? So on the web services, yesterday we completed that login, right? So let me open that project right here. So after that, uh, now before login, normally uh, it should uh, open one uh, page. In that page, normally it should uh, come with some animation kind of things. So, but first that we will call that page first. So after that, we will see that. So for that here, now that we can say has a splash screen. So for that, I'm creating one new activity here that is on the name of splash only, I'll create here. So I'll create on the name of splash. Here I'm creating one new activity. So that is new activity, MTV is activity. That is splash. So I have created on the name of splash. So once this create, we will add some code here. So first of all, whatever this activity here we are designing so that uh, you should it should uh, change means it should be flash so that should launch first that we have to change as a larger activity so then uh, we should add some logic here that Just a minute, still that is loading. Once it is loaded, then we will see this. So first, we will go to the manifest file. So in this manifest file, now the first activity, which is login, so yesterday we changed this as a login, but now I'm changing this to splash. So that splash will be the first activity. Then here it could be login. So I'm changing that as login. Means what happens, but the first splash activity will come. So on that activity, now we're supposed to write some kind of animation kind of thing that we will create. But before that here now, uh, in this, Splash activity. I'll take one image. So our understandable, like uh, that from that image, we are coming like that. We are our understandable. Here, I'm creating a layout. So that is relative layout I'm creating here. Then within this relative layout, I'm taking one image. So I'm taking one image, image view. So wrap content, find the wrap content. Both I'm taking wrap content, wrap content. Then for this, I'm taking one ID. That is image. Then image source I'm taking that so I see answer I'm taking this I want to align exactly the center of the page so central vertical true and central horizontal true both I have given this true. like now it is for this now I'm adding the data binding as well so added here the data binding and the data binding will be created here then now we need to add here the binding in a splash activities, right? Where binding colon. So the binding will be generated on the name of activity splash binding equal to null. I have to create this. Then here now that is binding equal to data binding util dot. So here, context. 
then here now so e what i'm saying this image in this page like it will launch first but it should wait for a few seconds so then it come to the next so for that here i'm handling this handler so handler dot so i'm using that uh, post delay thread so by using the post delay thread so in this we'll create an uh, runnable method runnable so here now we will give some time so here i'll specify 5000 milli means 5 seconds it should be 5 seconds so after 5 seconds whatever the code inside this this will execute here i'm writing one intent so means after 5 seconds this whatever the intent code this code will execute here so for this i'm writing here an intent so in the intent this at the rate splash from here now the next step we have to go to from here i want to go to the login page right so that login colon colon class dot show right so then here i'm writing that start activity of intent right so now i'm running this we will see this output first So it is taking a little bit of time. Once it will run, we will see this. That it is taking a little bit time. It is large. Yeah, now see here after five seconds, this is moved to the next page, right? So, whatever we are expected, that is working it right now. This will be okay, but here now I'm expecting like for that, I need some animation for the image should uh, display with some animation, then it should come to this, right? For that, now we will, what we will do here now to create an uh, animation here. Now, to create an animation here, we have to create in a resources, we have to create one animation resource folder. So here we have to create one directory that is a folder. So directory and 
with name of anim. So this is a free defined only. Like with always you can create with name of anim only. So in this uh, name only, we have to create that animation, right? Now within uh, this animation, here now uh, we supposed to create animation, right? For that animation, I'm creating one new animation resource file. So that animation resource file. So here you can give the something like uh, animation name. So whatever the animation you want to create. So here now I want to rotate the image. So for that here, I'm writing that animation name is the file name is the rotate. Like I want to rotate that image, whatever the image is there, right? That I want to rotate the image. So for that here now, I'm adding some kind of uh, animation. So that is the rotate, right? So in the rotate, uh, why what why 50% whatever the uh, image it should be there right from there it should occupy extra 50% for rotating and the private y that is also say 50% then uh, from degree where it should start it should start from the 0 to degree it is up to 360 right 360 degrees it will rotate then last that is the android colon so that is a duration equal to here this will be five seconds right so duration right similar like i want after that i want to return from there again i'll write one more rotate so this is also like the y what x same 50 percent then uh, next y what y so that is also 50 percent then from degree this is now from 360 to zero so that is a two degree zero then android duration so android duration equal to this will also five seconds then for this we have to write one extra where it should start like means for, for after completion of the first animation it should start so for that here start start offset so start offset equal to this like this done so i'm created this so this means here it will be the now the animation will create here with this right animation should be created here like this right for this now once this animation has created then uh, in uh, here Right, see here it is created here. Now I'm going to the splash. So here now I want to add the animation. So to add here animation, first of all here, like uh, uh, we want to declare animation globally here. So for that here on the globally here, var animation column. So that is the animation. So I'm declaring the animation equal to nullify condition, right? I'm adding the nullify condition. Then here, animation equal to, so that uh, here we have to load the animation from animation utilities. So animation will start, load animation. So what is animation? That is r dot, anim dot, so r dot anim dot rotate. So whatever we created that rotate. Now this we have to map for that particular image. So for that here now binding that binding dot image dot. So for that uh, start animation. So that is the start animation of whatever we created right that animation and Right, and done. So I'm running this. Now we will see this animation. So type mismatch from text.
load animation. Yes, something there are what we have to write here load animation. Okay, here we have to write uh, context to this at the rate splash comma and right now it will load this. See, the animation is coming. One clockwise has came. Okay, then it came. Why? Because, okay. So for both animation, we given five, five seconds. Right here, we should change this to 10 seconds. Then now it will work. Yeah, see now, clockwise, then anti-clockwise. Now it came right. right, it should be clear. Right, so with this animation, now this is a splash screen, whatever we created now, this will be. Now, let us say now, what is the app, this app? So what is the name it is installing here, the app? So that is, it is, installing on Reno project. But I don't want this Reno project. Let us say I want to change the name. So in case if you want to change the name for the app, so that will be in a values in a strings. So here it, this is the here. So I don't want project. So just I want the, my app name is Reno. Simply that's right. Now I remove that project. Now I'm running this. Now we can see here, here it is showing that now Reno projects, right. After login, after launching this, we will concentrate. That should be here. Only Rena, it will come. Only. See, the name has changed. Right. If you see here, Rena, it is changed. Right. Now I want to change image as well. So I want to change the app icon. So currently the app icon is default. It is coming this. Like now I, want, I don't want that. I want something image. So here now I'll search that uh, human icon something. So human icon. Let us, we will pick one. Uh, this, we will pick this image. Okay, so I want to put this icon. So this I'm saving as. So in my desktop, I'm saving this icon. So in uh, desktop, so with name of icon, I have saved this, right. So once I have saved this now, from here now, so this uh, last time we seen that, uh, if you want this app, so that will be app icon generator, right? This is the website. So somewhere I think already I showed this one. So let again, I'm sharing this. So in this now, so here we can upload that image here. So on a desktop. So here now I'll generate this. Here once I'm doing this now. 
So this is the halfway comes. So in this, this is the place to write. So this we have to take. So copy this image. Go back to your application. So within a, this year now, in uh, resources, right? Map map. So in a map map, paste this icon. Right. Once I have pasted this icon, so this will be good. I have pasted this icon. Done. Then go back here in manifest file. So in a manifest file here, see this icon. So that is the whatever we created. Now that place to also not only here, two places. This round icon also you have to change. In a both places you have to change. Now see I'm running now. This we will see that app icon also will change now. The application has launched. Now we will see that. Here you can see. See, this is the app icon as updated like this. So this is the one level of like app icon we changed, name we changed. Let us say I want to share this app to install someone. Like I want to share this application. So it's today just I'm showing that normal uh, debug mode. So in case if you want to share the debug mode application, so here build, from here build app or bundle. From here you can click on the build APK. So just I'm clicking on the build APK here, see simple here, build APK. So once you click on this, see it is uh, building the process. So this process will take uh, one to two minutes. So once this file will be built, that if you can share to someone, so directly you can install on your phone directly that application. So this is done. So here now we can see here locate. In our project location, we will see now once if you I share this to you, so you can install so that whatever we done that program you can uh, able to check that. So after the class, I'll uh, share this. If you want, just you can install. So whatever we done, so that we can able to see that. So this is how to build a file within a debug mode, right? So till this you can practice. Tomorrow we'll see some other like next should be the session management how to do the session management so for the session management we will use the concept to call the shared preferences that we will see on tomorrow's class okay